everyone, and welcome back to another random pets genetics challenge here in the Labarcatory. And yes, we are back with the Easter Bunny! Because the last litter of cabots, our wonderful rabbit cats, was so adorable. I could not believe how much fun it was to see all of those different colored kittens pop up. Oh my gosh. And so I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing another litter of them because it is indeed Easter weekend why not think about all things crafty fun and colorful and uh you know the easter bunny still has quite a few eggs to hide within our sims neighborhoods after all and while he is on his stroll i do think that we are going to help him find love yet again so last time we ended up with kittens who had patterns like raccoons we had our very first ever flame cat born in the labarcatory and we ended up with some beautiful beautiful purple crystal geode cats. So that was really fun. All based off of one humble, beautiful orange tabby named Daffodil. And it's going to be really fun to see who the Easter Bunny finds today. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to randomize a mixed breed cat, holy cow. This is clearly a Sphinx tortoiseshell mix, quite the unique cat, but we are going to randomize once for a new mixed breed. The cat who is going to look out the window as the Easter Bunny strolls by, hiding the eggs in the Sims yard and fall madly in love is... <gasps> so cute! You kind of look like a little skunk. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Okay, so may I introduce all of you to, I'm gonna name her Pansy after those beautiful, beautiful purple eyes. So Pansy, we're gonna name her uh, Pansy, or let's name her Lady Pansy, cause she is spoiled. She is also mischievous and she is curious. So we're gonna name her Lady Pansy. Uh, fluff, uh, fluffer, fluffer tail, the eighth. There we go. Oh, I can only make her the seventh. <laughs> I can't add the eighth. Oh my gosh. All right. So Lady Pansy Fluffertail the seventh looks out the window and sees the Easter Bunny strolls by, stroll by. They fall madly in love and we are going to have six new kittens. So last time we really saw that the Easter Bunny's strong jaw really does show up. The jaw and the nose on a lot of the cats. The eyes really didn't seem to be too dominant on a lot of the different kittens. I thought they might kind of have that like uh, walleye look a little bit more, but not quite. And many of them did end up inheriting the haunches, but only one of them inherited the ears, or two of them did, because one ended up being a full bunny. So that's going to be interesting to see on these kits. And with Lady Pansy Fluffertail the seventh, we do have a very long tail. So he's got no tail, just a little bunny tail. She's got a super long tail. And she also has a very like proud ruffle to her chest. She's got a lot more chest. And where he has big floppy or big ears, she's got floppy ears. So they're kind of like a, a meeting of contrast. I mean, she has some black fur. He's an all-white rabbit. Clearly, this is meant to be an attraction of opposites. So let's begin by getting six little kittens. Oh, you're so cute! <gasps> Lady Pansy, look at your son! Fascinating! So he is actually a little blind kitten, but I bet he has some sort of magic powers from his father, the Easter Bunny. No need to fret, my friends. Oh my gosh! Did we just have identical twins? <laughs> Not quite, but nearly. This is going to be so cool to see how the magic of the Easter Bunny plays out uh, on Miss Fluffington's, uh, Miss Fluffertips, Fluffertail? Miss Fluffertail's kits. So this is going to be fun. All right. And then we have another one. Oh my gosh. They're all turning out to be kind of like their mom at the moment. But they are going to have some of that Easter Bunny magic. Oh, and floppy ears. I just noticed we're two, three. Oh, we're going to have to see... We're going to have to see who inherits the, the bunny ears and who inherits the flop ears. Oh, look at you. We have a long tail. This is not a drill. We have our first long tail. I'm pretty sure every one of the other babies, yep, has no tail. And then I think this is the last baby that they're actually going to end up having. So, yep, look at that. Another son. So we have son, son, 
daughter, daughter, son, son. So four boys, two girls born among Miss Lady Pansy Fluffertips the Seventh's litter. Uh, quite the lovely arraignment. And actually, I think that she would be very happy that they all mostly look like her. But there are risks that come with having kittens with the Easter Bunny. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make this magic happen. All right, with this little guy, we are going to randomize his coat pattern four times. I already have the numbers pulled up this time, so you don't have to listen to my dice rattle rattle across the desk. Also, there's always the risk when I use my actual dice that it's going to fall off the desk and I'm going to have to go searching under the desk to get it. This is much better, more efficient. We're, we're definitely upgrading things in the lab here today. So, one, two, three, four. <gasps> Oh my gosh, he's beautiful! And this is just the beginning! I love this so much, you guys! He looks like a little chocolate kitten! Okay, and we're gonna randomize four, four, and six more times. So one, two, three, four. Oh! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So much fun! We have a little citrus kitten! He's adorable! Holy cow! I think he's really serious though. I just get the feeling that he's kind of aloof and clever. And I, I have the feeling that he's like constantly searching for something. Because he has a lot of that Easter magic in him. So we have a little citrus kitten. That is kitten number one. Let's see what his brother, who more or less looks identical to him. They just have different noses and jaws, I think. Let's see how his brother turns out. So we're going to randomize six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> little stripes. Then two five, three, one, two. Oh my gosh, it's a blue cat. One, two, three, let's see, four, five, one, two, three. <laughs> he looks like a little Avenger cat, if you ask me. Oh, look at his little back paws. They've got little, little pink spots on them. That is so cool. And in fact, he does kind of strike me as a bit more of a superhero cat. He is also a blind kitten, but again, I feel like they have some magic powers to trade off for it. We don't want this to be a sad situation after all. I think he's more of a free spirit who's kind of frisky and hmm, very clever. Very clever indeed. But look at him! A little blue kitten. He is so cute. I really like him. And the first sister. Okay, well, let's keep going. There's a lot of kittens and we're going to want to see what they look like as adults too. So we're going to change her coat pattern twice. One, two. Oh, she's so cute. Little Easter kitten. Who are you going to be? And then four, five, six, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> She's gonna be pink. One, two, three, four. <gasps> you guys. Normally, I'm kind of like, huh, that's a weird color of cat when we are doing our random pets laboratory challenge. But I have to say, I'm really enjoying the colors of all of the cats right now because this is Easter kittens. I don't want to be done with the Easter kittens yet. They're just so freaking cute. Uh, oh, and that's right. We need to decide her personality too. I'm just really getting like a, a sort of flowery, playful personality from her. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and name the kittens this time. I just feel like it's really fun to name them as babies before they grow up and to see if they really grow into their name. So she's just really affectionate. I think that she's very, very friendly. And I think that she's kind of frisky. Like she loves playing out in the garden. Her mother is indeed named Pansy. I'm gonna name her Snap, uh, Snapdragon. I think maybe, well, no, Snapdragon doesn't fit her. Um, let's go with, I think just Flora. I think Flora, just to kind of cover that she pretty much likes all flowers, particularly if it means that she can pounce on them and bat their little pebbles apart. She strikes me as one of those adorable kind of kittens. Hmm. And then I'm actually going to come back here and I want to name this guy Max for some reason. He just strikes me as a Max. And then this one I want to name uh, Citrus, uh, 
Citrusius. Citrus? Yes. Citrusius. Like some sort of mm, ancient Roman name of some kind. He just seems to be very serious and very, very, I mean, like a citrus plant. He's so cool. And of course, I hope you guys know that citrus is referring to like oranges and lemons and things like that. All right, we've got three left, so let's carry on. Okay, so we're going to take off, there we go, that coat pattern. We're going to randomize twice, so, or excuse me, five times. We've got the five switched around. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> Look at the little stripes on her back. That is so cute. Okay, one, and then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so she's gonna be pretty normal colored. That's fine. That's fine. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> okay, she's precious. She is precious. I love her. I know I say that about all of them, but how can you not? She actually reminds me of like a a um a birch tree, to be honest. She I'm gonna I kind of want to name her birch because she reminds me a lot of like a birch or an aspen tree. Um or like a beech tree. I'm gonna name her Beech uh, after, it's kind of uh, a kind of tree. And she just kind of reminds me of those guys. And I think she's actually very territorial. She'd make a good wild cat. I think she's aloof and clever as well. Well, less clever, I think, and more of a prowler. Like every now and then we get some kittens, oh, look at those eyes, like a little owl. Every now and then we get some kittens where I feel like they would make really good warrior cats just out of the blue. And this is definitely absolutely one of them. All right, we've got two more. I do think that Pansy, Lady Pansy's a little distressed to see her kits coming out in such unusual colors, but they're clearly quite delightful Easter surprises. So I'm sure that her owners will take good care of all of them. Uh, if some of them don't just wander off into the woods or whatever magical rainbow realm they come from. All right, two left. We've got this little one who's going to change their coat color pattern six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> Look at you! I wonder what colors you're gonna turn out to be. And then three and two. So one, two, three, one, two. <laughs> Just when I thought we were gonna end up like, oh, is this gonna be another normal colored cat? Nope. This one, I kind of want to name like, like Puddle or like Pubble, Petal, Pubble, Pubble. <laughs> Why am I trying to say the word Puddle and Pebble at the same time? Puddle. I kind of think that he needs to be named Puddle because he looks like somebody kind of dripped a little puddle onto his back and he's adorable. I think this guy's a little bit lazy. He even will sleep straight through a light rainstorm. I think he's curious and I think that he is friendly. So he likes to take some good naps and he's kind of curious about things like when the rain falls from the sky. But for the most part, he just wants to find a nice place to curl up and sleep in. He is adorable. We've got a lot of blue in this litter, don't we? All right, we're gonna change the coat pattern twice. One, two. <gasps> Look at that! You've got cute little spots! Oh, even if you just stayed the same color, you're so precious. It, it reminds me of um, some of the eggs that I know my friends will actually make with their children. They'll try to mimic some of the real eggs during Easter. So they'll try to mimic different bird species and make like a uh, robin egg blue, for instance, or some speckled eggs for different species, grackle and catbird eggs that have pretty swirls on them. It's really fun and kind of, is it chickadee eggs I'm thinking of? You remind me of a little egg, little one, which is good because your father's the Easter Bunny. But let's go ahead and change this coat pattern twice. One, two. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, <laughs> the same color, huh? One, two, three, four. That's cute. Confusing, but cute has the opportunity to pass on an unexpected spot uh, to its lineage. But what are we gonna name you, little guy? Let's actually go, are you a guy or a girl? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Nutmeg. You just kind of remind me a little bit of a nutmeg. 
Uh, but, well, actually, he kind of reminds me of, of, like, an acorn or, or even something a little trickier. Hmm. Trout? Why on earth do you have the name Trout? I don't know. You're the child of an Easter bunny, but somehow something about you just makes me go, your name is Trout. So welcome, Trout. No doubt you are a prowler who might like to do some fishing, uh, or at least go by to explore the fish piles in Brindleton Bay. And I think you're probably a little mischievous as a result. And let's make you <laughs> frisky before the, the mischievousness hits you. But all right, my friends, so that actually covers all of the kittens in the wonderful, fantastic colors that the Easter Bunny has, which is so cool to see. I really love being able to see the features this time. We're kind of doing it opposite of how we normally do our challenges, where we are making the features and then changing the colors on that, which is quite fun. But all right, so this cat, Citricius, is going to grow up into an adult. Oh my gosh, I was not accounting for Lady Pansy's everythingness. <laughs> and he has uh, the Manx tail, actually. So he ended up with a Manx tail. And he did not end up with the rabbit haunches. But guess what, guys? He's got the ears! <laughs> He's got double layered ears. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to go ahead and help him. Uh, whoa. Whoa, hang in there, buddy. Hang in there! I'm coming! We're gonna fix it, I promise! I don't know how, but we're gonna- we're gonna- we're gonna make this right! We're gonna make this right, Citricius! You don't need to have two ears yet, hang on! Alright, I think maybe if we do this, and then we come over to pet clothing... There you go, Citricius! All the better to hear us with! He looks fantastic! His brother, Max, right over here, has grown up. Oh my gosh, they really were like twins. He has grown up to look a lot like his mother, and he has actually not inherited either the rabbit ears or the haunches. But what do you guys think? Surely he can go and befriend one of the superheroes of our realm. Little Flora? They're all taking after their mom! I did not anticipate this. I did not anticipate this, and Flora actually inherited, by the way, both the ears. So we have the big bunny ears and the bunny haunches. So Flora is officially a bunny, which considering the fact that she loves chasing flowers, totally fits her. I really love that. Little beach over here. Dun -dun -dun. Oh, she's a cute cat with a big nose. Oh my gosh, they're all taking after their mom. This is amazing. Beach did not inherit either of the uh, ears or the haunches, but I really like the results. Little Puddle. Oh my gosh. They are literally all taking after... <laughs> they are all taking after their mom. I did not... I, I, I'm kind of amazed. Uh... Wow. And he actually ended up, Puddle ended up being a long-tailed rabbit. He kind of looks like a tank of a rabbit. I'm not going to lie. He looks like, like animals would think twice about taking him on because, oh, and he even ended up with his dad's eyes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I think a red eyed rabbit that looked like this and had a big tail and looked like it could just like one punch you out of the garden. I think you'd leave him alone. But Puddle, no wonder he didn't mind sleeping in the rain. And finally, a little trout has grown up. <gasps> it actually looks like his father. So he's the only skinny one. And ironically, he, he too is a bunny. So somehow we have made a rabbit with both ears and haunches named Trout. But he actually looks like a bunny. That's amazing. All right, guys, I had so much fun. I have to say, Citricius is definitely my favorite rabbit that we have made thus far. Uh, I love oranges. I love the color orange. This is kind of amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. I might be able to convince the Easter Bunny to stick around for another, another day. I can't, I can't tell you how much I love seeing your kits, your cabbage Easter Bunny. They're just so much fun.
<laughs> so we might have him stick around for another day. I think it would be really, really fun to actually have one of my Sims take in an Easter Bunny if they were going to have some more magically inclined abilities like growing a bunch of grow fruit and doing this with my Sims legacies. Uh, I actually think this could be a really fun sort of little side adventure with a more magically minded Sim. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Do please leave a like to toss a wonderful carrot to our Easter bunny so that he'll stick around and have a few more cabots with our lovely lady cats. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, guys, stay curious. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.